Hey, my name is Tom and welcome back to Low Carbon Lifestyle. One of the questions that comes up occasionally when I'm talking to people about heat pumps, and I talk to a lot of people about heat pumps, is a real worry that we'll make the, all the air outside really cold if we just install heat pumps. And when you think about it, you start to think, well, yeah, this could be a nightmare. Heat pumps whirring away in our neighbourhoods and drawing out all the warmth on a cold winter's night. And intuitively, this could make some sense, but the physics of what's going on might calm your fears. My name is Tom, and this is a little series about a low carbon lifestyle. You can imagine the scene. Imagine that we live at Four Privet Drive. We bought the house off the Dursleys a few years ago, and we installed a heat pump. Nice one. So on a cold day, we take the heat out of the air around us to keep us warm. You could imagine that we might start to have an impact on the air outside. And then when all the neighbours of Privet Drive get heat pumps, wouldn't there be a cold that descends on the area? As if the Dementors are back, sucking out all the fun and life and warmth from the air around us. The homes might be warm inside, but the outside just bleak. And because heat pumps work more efficiently when it's warm outside, the heating gets, keeps on getting more and more expensive as the outside gets colder and colder. Surely that is gonna happen. Well, calm down, it isn't. Let's just talk through what the heat pump process is and what's actually happening. We take heat from a source, and in the case of an air source heat pump, we're taking heat from the air. That's why heat pumps have a big fan that you can see at the front. We use that heat to evaporate a fluid in a heat pump. We change its state from a liquid to a gas, and then we take a little bit more, we, we take a little bit of electricity to compress that gas and we add energy to the heat pump. We then deposit all this energy into water in a radiator circuit and we deliver it inside the house. So where is the heat coming from and where is it going? Let's assume a heat pump is operating at an efficiency of 300%. And that's maybe a normal overall efficiency for a heat pump. Maybe it's a bit on the low side, but we'll start there. This means that it's taking one kilowatt from your electricity supply and two kilowatts from the surrounding air, and it's delivering three kilowatts of heat to your home. So we're taking heat from the, the surrounding area. The dementors are back. The heat pump keeps doing this until it reaches the set point on your controller or your thermostat. It keeps on taking heat and adding a little bit more heat to your house than is leaving through the walls, through the roof, through the windows and the floors. And let's just stop there. This is where we come to the key point that means we won't be experiencing dementors in the future. When we're adding heat to a house, there is also heat leaving your walls, your roof, your windows, and your floors. If there's a temperature difference between the inside of your home and the outside of your home, there will be movement of heat through the building fabric. How much heat will depend on how well insulated your home is. So if we assume at 21 degrees inside, nice and warm, and five degrees outside a normal winter's day, the temperature difference is 16 degrees we might be losing maybe three kilowatts of heat in total. To keep a steady temperature in the house, we need to add three kilowatts of heat. To increase the temperature, we need to add a little bit more than three kilowatts. And if we were too warm, then we could add a little bit less or no heat. But ultimately, we're moving heat from a few meters away where the heat pump is in the outside air and putting the, uh, the heat inside a house where it permeates back to the outside air slowly permeating and banishing those dementors. Don't patron them! Okay, so we're not going to cool the air completely if we all, all installed heat pumps. In fact, there's actually another step in the equation. The heat pump in our scenario is adding three kilowatts of heat to a house that then leaks to the outside. Of the three kilowatts it added, one kilowatt came from electricity, driving a compressor and adding heat to that fluid. Two kilowatts came from the air. So we took two kilowatts out and ultimately we added three kilowatts of heat through the insulation of the house. And that spreads out to the air around the house slowly but surely. 
So we're actually heating up the air around us. If you don't believe me, you could do an experiment in your own home with your own heat pump, which is your fridge or freezer. What do you think happens when you open the fridge door? Does the room get hotter or does it get colder? Well, if you left it open, the fridge would be working harder to cool the whole space rather than just the tiny fridge space. And in working harder, it would use more electricity and it would deposit more heat than usual at the back of the fridge. So there's more heat in the room than previously, even though the fridge door is open. Okay, okay. So rather than the dementors coming and making the air all cold and stealing all our fun, we're actually gonna be adding heat whenever we use a heat pump. So wouldn't that just make the whole world hot? Isn't that just global warming? Well, yeah, a bit, but actually not as hot as, we, as the same thing we do with gas boilers. Heat pumps recycle heat from the air Gas boilers take energy from millions of years ago in fossilized plants. And as we burn these fossils, we add heat to the house that then escapes through, through, your, through your walls and windows and doors and floors, and it warms the air outside. Instead of recycling heat, a gas boiler is using single use heat. If we go back to that scenario earlier, it's adding three kilowatts to the atmosphere, whereas a heat pump would only add one additional kilowatt worth of heat. And that's not even mentioning the heat trapping gases a gas boiler adds from their exhaust. So heat pumps would add some warmth to the world, but gas boilers are contributing, contributing to the world burning up. And there is one final tiny caveat that I should bring up. If heat pumps are designed and installed incorrectly, they might get put in a space without much air movement. It could be surrounded by walls or by fences. And the risk in this instance is that the air coming out of the big fan that is a little bit cooler then recirculates to the air we take the heat from in the first place. If there isn't sufficient ventilation in the space for it to circulate with the rest of the ambient air, the tiny space where a heat pump has been poorly installed will start to get cold. The efficiency of the heat pump would drop. It would take, need to take more heat from the air and things would get worse and worse. So good installation and good design is really key to an efficient system. But that's it. Heat pumps aren't going to cool down our neighborhoods and we're not gonna be inviting dementors to our street. In fact, they will add a little bit of heat to the air in our towns and cities, but not as much as gas boilers do, but they do add some heat. I hope that all makes sense. If you've got any thoughts or questions, I would love to hear them. Please do comment below. And if you haven't already, please do hit subscribe. If you want to watch more videos about our heat pump, then have a look at this playlist over here.